Another big addition in free agency at wide receiver, Mike Williams signs with the Jets as the Jets were looking for a wide receiver to pair with Garrett Wilson. But it didn't I think just take Alan Lazard, but yeah, and Alan ahead. Lazard, of course, still there somehow. And still it didn't just take money to get this deal done. It took a little extra from NYJ Matt on Twitter. Watch this. Am I trying this right now? Ooh. It's good. <laughs> this we got the deal sign right here. <laughs> That was a Taylor ham, egg, and cheese sandwich from Morristown, New Jersey, mm. sent on Uber Eats by NYJ Matt to Mike Williams when he was visiting the Jets. Have either of you ever had, a t some people call it pork roll, I a Taylor not. ham, egg, and cheese sandwich? No. I have not. Oh, no. man. I'll bring him to the set one day. Okay. Your life will never be the same. Uh, clearly, he's in, that was a genuine reaction from Mike Williams. Genuine and that reaction. sandwich had been sitting there I, probably for about six hours. Right, but it's still, <laughs> well, yeah, but it's still. It's that, that was, delicious. That, uh, that delicious. I, I have heard tales of its, uh, of its prowess. It's yeah. a uh, how, uh, New Jersey legend. How delicious do you think the Jets offense will be now, Connor? Had a pretty good offseason oh, with the offensive line. Yeah. For Mike Williams, the little, some, maybe some <laughs> holes for Brees Hall to maybe run some, into. They'll actually get back to yeah. the line of scrimmage. Yeah. A necessary addition. I think it's, you know, there's two sides of this. One, receivers coming off an ACL are never the same the next year. They're never the top guy. But mm -hmm. the Jets don't need Mike Williams to be the top guy. They need Garrett Wilson to be the top guy. So this gives them a big body, six foot four, jump ball target for Aaron Rodgers that how many times do we say this? We said it with Aaron Rodgers, we said it with Tyron Smith, we say it with Mike Williams now. They gotta keep him on the field for this to be effective. <laughs> I don't know who tweeted it. But, you know, it's one of the social media accounts. You know, just say Danny Carter. No, I, <laughs> NFL they, memes. They, no, it, it, it might have been. I love those NFL. The NFL memes, guys. I don't know who runs that account, but whoever does crushes it every single time. But, uh, no, this wasn't it. But, like, some some corporate account, you know, because they all do this. And and we're, we do it as well here at, at NBC and Roto World. But somebody put out, you know, a little graphic of Aaron Rodgers, uh, Garrett Wilson, and Mike Williams now is it's like you know who's stopping this offense yes. and Brees Hall and then somebody tweeted back just a picture of the turf right <laughs> right it's <laughs> like, fair which is fair it's just like yeah like that's who's stopping them potentially right, right? you know is this the turf monster wait the, till uh, David Bakhtiari the, signs with the Jets yeah. oh my god right <laughs> uh but yeah listen Mike Williams is a is a great player what the, what's positive about like in terms of the ACL to your point like separation's never been a big part of his game like right. that's a guy like he's a jump ball guy he's a 50 50 ball guy Aaron Rodgers is not somebody who needs to quote throw you open so assuming he comes back healthy you know I think uh, after Garrett Wilson and of course Alan Lazard he'll be a n great number three wide receiver Can't forget Alan Lazard. for the new for the New York Jets. does Alan Lazard make the team this year or do they just do they like I think they would pay a team to take him oh, I, I think they would send a but, pick with him oh of course but I'm just <laughs> but the, he's there because of Rodgers yes but even Rodgers after last year has to be like oh boy I don't know about this anymore uh, it was that do, bad do you well do you think Rodgers just keeps him around in case anything goes down <laughs> He's like he's he's well, like his like money's Shohei's guaranteed. In, he's like Shohei's interpreter, right? You know what I mean? Just like you never ball know. Guy. Ball guy. Something goes wrong at night. I need a guy yes. that. Yeah. Uh, the Jets cut Alan Lazard because things yes. got out of hand in the city last night. Yeah. yeah, you never know. <laughs> he yes. paid Lazard. Yes. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Oh, man. That's what we should call him. He oh, paid Lazard. I knew Otani would find his way to this show. I'm just uh, twenty I'm just minute saying, mark. Remember, I was just, I think it was Chris Carter that uh, that spoke to the uh, the players. You need a fall guy. You need a fall guy. Right. You need a fall guy. Lazard's a ten million dollar fall guy <laughs> yeah there's easily. a very real chance that he is kept on the roster for yeah I, of course yeah. do you think or or do you think Lazard's just around because he'll be like secretary of agricul agriculture <laughs> you know with you know in a you know yeah, you know because when, Rod when, when, when Rodgers is a heartbeat away they yeah. find him a job there too. yeah yeah exactly he keeps getting these higher <laughs> higher paid <laughs> jobs it's like yeah. has this keep you happening yeah. Alan Lazard's gonna be the president of the United States yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in like four years you watch yeah. exactly <laughs> how did this happen uh, all right uh you know can everyone come to order uh press secretary Randall Cobb is ready to address <laughs> yeah. the address the nation and uh it, Billy Turner coming. Yeah, Billy Turner, Secretary of Defense, Billy yeah, Turner. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Just be all. Little. I guarantee, if you're Aaron Rodgers, your thought is not that after last year that Alan Lazard was bad. It's no, it's like no, I wasn't there to throw him the ball. Probably. He's actually still good. Yeah, yes. he'll still be I, good. Let's give. Although him this year. signing kind of indicates everyone else is sure. not in line yeah. with that. They gave yeah. Mike Williams up to 15 million dollars mm. on a one-year deal. I mean, he is the at minimum number two. Yeah. But he offense. was. Don't you think also, Mike? And the, 
the Jets clearly needed a wide receiver, right? Now it is a, obviously it's a deep draft, and they'll like, draft one too. And they will, of course, they will. But the fact of the matter is, is Rodgers traditionally has not loved rookie wide receivers. Right. He, he's forty years old. Like he's come back from the kill. Like all the Jets need to be all in for this year. And so, you know, yes, they'll draft a rookie, but they need they need a veteran presence uh, beyond Garrett Wilson for Rodgers to throw to. And so. I felt like at the time of the signing, again, they could have gotten Keenan Allen for a four, apparently. But crazy. like, I mean, but it felt like of the free agents available, Mike Williams was the. I mean, again, because T. Higgins, Michael Pittman, like all the all the guys that we thought were going to be available, Mike Evans, Mike they Evans, liked all him resigned. A lot. I mean, it was basically Mike Williams or Calvin Ridley, and right. if they didn't want to, if they didn't want to do an extension again, because they're sort of all in for this year, it makes sense. Hey, who can we get that's a veteran that's really good? on a one-year deal. And so that's, you know, that's what they did. And yeah. they were in on Jerry Judy, who is absolutely a worse player than Mike Williams. A thousand like, percent. definitively yeah. a worse player. And speaking of Jerry Judy. Mike Williams, Mike Williams is only really issue good. is health. Yes, he's That's his very only good. issue. Like, he's, he's, when he's on the field, he's great. Yep. Like, yeah. Mike Williams was like, was like, I want to say eighth overall. Was that, he, I know he was a top ten pick. Right, he was. It was this is quite a bit now. I mean, but I think he I'll was definitely you, a first rounder. If uh, Brandon Staley didn't play him in that stupid, meaningless game against Denver in Week 18 uh, two years ago, yes. then they beat the Jags in that playoff game because they just needed like one more score, and Mike Williams would have been there to give them that. So, uh, yeah, it he's been it's been difficult with injuries, but yeah, if he is out there, I will say the Jets have to have the widest range of outcomes of any By team far. in NFL history. Like, I'm ready By for this. Th I'm ready for everyone to get hurt and the team to win four games. Also, you could see them winning the Super Bowl. Like anything right. is possible. Thousand percent. It's yeah. all about how they manage the workload and health of all of these guys, yeah. all the way down to Brees Hall. It feels like it ends poorly, right? There's well, just mean, too many guys. I've lived this life. You don't have to ask me. Just because yeah. it's the Jets, but um, uh, but yeah, I mean, like if the. The defense is always gonna is still gonna be very good. It's it's if the offense stays healthy, they need to be yeah. average. That's the bar they need to clear the offense because they were dreadful last year and they won seven games. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, I mean again, like a year ago, this division looked a lot tougher. Like Buffalo right now doesn't look nearly as tough as it did a year ago. Miami doesn't look. They you got know, I mean, Miami rated. didn't. Yeah. Like we, Miami won the off season, and this was the this was gonna be the year the Bills became the Bills. This is all a year ago. And obviously, none of that came to fruition. Yep. And so, like, there's a lot of – there's there's certainly more – heading into this season, I feel like there are more questions around the Bills and the Dolphins than there were last season. And so, you know, the Jets legitimately have a chance of obviously winning that division. It's yep. got to be wide open on the odds board. Yeah, I, would, I, I imagine the Bills are definitely the favorite, but – They're the favorite. They're like plus 130, and then the Jets and the Dolphins are bunched up behind them. And it's like no one has any idea what the Jets are going to be. Like, right. what's Rodgers going to be? Is Rodgers going to be, like, the seventh-best quarterback, or is he just dumb? Like, no one right. has any idea what he looks like. He's going to be Tyrod Taylor by week eight. Yeah. Well, that's actually handy that they have Tyrod. They have, like, a real backup where if Rodgers does miss a couple games, can just kind of steady the ship. As yeah. opposed to the, the Zach Wilson. Right. But experience. another guy that's hurt a lot, but effective yeah. when he plays. Yeah. So, Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBCSports.com and RotorWorld.com. And I want to thank you so much for watching whatever it is you just watched. Or if nothing else, being too lazy to click out of the autoplay after this video started, after whatever it is you actually wanted to watch finished. But now that you're here, I'd like to take a moment here to ask you respectfully. Respectfully now, okay? I'm asking you respectfully to subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel. You'll get the latest Roto World fantasy news headlines, all sorts of great shows, including my own fantasy football happy hour. So go subscribe now. Again, I'm asking respectfully.